all these crooked holes you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Drop that real straight one. I'll be making them crooked holes. You don't go at your side. Uh, maybe it was just that first one. Yeah. A little hard to get in that one. The wire fed, right? Now we have to connect it to this little puller we designed here. I'll tape this on to the end there, and then we'll pull that down through the wall. I like you to open those and I galvanize. True. Oh! Oh! pulled the sheep right off of it. Don't say that. Don't jinx me now. I've been doing good. Well, you get a start yeah, give me some. Yeah. Let's get the little foot stroll. I'll start at the top, you pull. Yeah, it's definitely a good hand. Foot stroll? That's all right, you got it. Yeah, don't worry about the camera guy. Look, who needs some soap? Now, come on! <laughs> uh. There he is. Come on! Oh no! I pulled off right here. No way. Yep. <laughs> Give me go. some pliers. We got her. You got it? We got her, Buck Wheat. Pulling some teeth. Here we go. Three man operation. That's right. And a pair of pliers. <laughs> oh! You're good. You got plenty good there. You gonna pull it back the other way? No, yeah, I just pull it back to you. like that. Right on. That's just the way I always do things. I did. Yeah, he's right there. He's pushing the thing through. Do you see it? Do you see it? That should be through. He said it should be through. Should be through. Push wire down. What? Push wire down. But ask where he's pushing it from. Where are you pushing? From the room here, the bathroom to the breaker's box. He, he did it already. The one that's down, he wants Gary to push that one through the breaker box, right? You want him to push it through the breaker box? He's going to pull a lot. Keep going. He's pulling. Now it's up to you. Muddy though, could you keep it clean? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little muddy, could you keep it clean? Pull the snake out! Pull the snake out. 
snakes scare me. You sure? <laughs> All right, looks like the root cellar's cleared up pretty good, drying up real nice. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to work on that drainage in the root cellar, innit? What's or in the just, just a little bit. Crawl space. What's your name, Gary? What's your name? Frog man. You what you name me? Y'all would play man. too much. He's frog, frog man. man. Frog man. <laughs> Watch out for old Gary, boy. Woof. Oh, we need Roy here. Roy, my boy. He's been riding around quite a bit. He's doing some jobs, I guess. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. I need eighteen. Fish where your holes at for the wire. Eighteen. Of course. You did it. I did it. He did it. Ralph did it. Jerry, you're off the hook. Oh boy. Oh boy. I have to do an offset thing. An offset thing. Yeah. Oh boy. Put it on the other side and angle it in. Is that what they do down in the city? They just offset it off. Oh, I don't know. They just, they just glue it and glue it. Glue it, screw it. Yeah, that's it. Glue it, screw it. Uh, oh. the, the problem I'm having here is that wire is. Where's it nailed that down there? I mean, I don't want to be drilling a hole to the damn thing. Oh, right. How'd you nail it up on the wall? Hey, Ralph, it's your turn to go downstairs. <laughs> mm, uh -uh. You got one of them uh -huh. telescopes? You're a fancy guy. No, we stick it down in the hole there. I wish I did, but I don't. Dang it. Um, Uh-oh. Do we... So where did you nail it? We'll get back to you. <laughs> there it is. It actually works that's, out. That's where oh, don't hit the wire now. Don't hit it. looks like it's right in line there. I don't know how you did it. I know. <laughs> I know. Maybe send down a little baby drill, see if you come back with some yellow stuff on it. I said drugs over there somewhere. I like the way they've done that. Yeah. That's Milwaukee. That's Milwaukee. Yeah, my Milwaukee's gonna look like that. Good job. Didn't even get any yellow on it. No mustard. I don't see any down here. That's what we like to hear. Orange piece in there? Yeah. There's salt off. There's two in the pipe. There's it just have maybe a piece of the plant. I see some purple on it. Primer and glue, you know what to do. <laughs> that light. You put this light at seven, didn't you? Yeah. Pretty sure it's seven. You did. Seven three, good enough. I always go by the ceiling from the bathroom. You go twelve inches below center.
10, according to code, you can get on a 20 amp version, you can get 10 outlets. That doesn't mean that it's either a light, whatever. They consider each box worth 180 watts. Yeah, ten, ten is max, and so, but, but everything counts. I mean, every outlet counts. That's an outlet. That's an outlet. That's an outlet. That's an outlet. Looks like a tornado ran through that place. I'll tell you what, boy, when you guys, remember I told you when you're in construction, you're just doing the thing and you're just gonna throw that stuff all over the place. So I'll spend some time in there cleaning up so when the guys come back and, uh, you know, when I'm in there working, it's not a trip hazard and there's not stuff laying around everywhere. And it's time now to get a little more organized because now we're gonna be moving on to insulating the interior walls and then putting up the, uh, you know, interior wall substance. Some of you guys were guessing about this package over here. Remember we got this little package game going on. What's in the package? You're going to be a little crooked because I got you set up for over there, but what's in there? What is it? Some of you guys said drywall. There's no drywall in there. We're not using any drywall on mom's log cabin. Alrighty, so no drywall in there. But try to make a guess down below in the comment section what's in that uh, that box there. I call it a box. It might not be a box. It looks like a box. <laughs> That's it, man. That's pretty exciting. Uh, the crawl space is, we got a little work to do down there to get it dried out, but you know, it's coming along pretty good. And then once we get gutters on here, that's really going to uh, improve the situation in the crawl space as well as the, my finish grade. Remember, I haven't been able to get in here and do a finish grade on the property here yet. So we still got a little bit of places where the water's backing up against the building and getting into the crawl space. But again, when I put the gutters on there and we put the final grade, that's going to alleviate a lot of that problem. And then uh, we'll just kind of keep an eye on it. And if we have to make adjustments, we can. We could put a sub pump down there. Uh, you know, just a lot of different things you can do. And we also have to put some more plastic down there. So there's a few more things that we have to do too to mitigate all the moisture and to keep it. You don't ever want your moisture coming up and into the bottom of your floors and into your house, especially with wood floors. It'll cause your floors to cup and uh, it's just not good for it you know so we'll, we'll mitigate all that just stay with us make sure you subscribe to the channel watch every video you never know what's going to go on on the videos I'm not numbering the videos for the build anymore because like this one we got a couple days involved with the weather and people's schedules and everything else um, we're just not going to do that we're not going to number each video so you guys got to come i'll put log cabin build or something to the um effect of on the title so you kind of know what the substance of the video is uh but no more numbers on the video some of you guys were asking about that that's it i got a big mess to clean up uh so then we can start staging for the next process we have to put insulation in on the interior walls and then also start uh putting up what's on the interior walls and I, I don't know if I've told you but I'm not going to say it just yet so that way you can keep your guesses going <laughs> and uh, after that we're going to start putting the outlets and stuff like that you know just stay tuned watch every video and you're going to see how this all goes together most of you guys have been following along for the last 50 something videos in case you're new and you were wondering we were numbering the videos we're about 50 something videos into building this log cabin we're we're going to do it in less than 90 days um, real time, every video was numbered. 
of building this uh, kit that my mom bought off the internet, log cabin kit. She's moving from the country, or city and moving up to the country, and that's what we're doing. We're building this cabin for her, so it's pretty cool. So uh, if you want to follow along, make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button, guess what's in the box, show up on every video, and uh, hit off grid with Doug and Stacy .com. Maybe you can check out some of our blogs that we write there, and Stacy's cookbook, and chocolate tea, and all that stuff. So I got to get busy. I'm out of here. You guys saw action packed video today. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We'll see you guys on the next video.